my lovely students how are you all a very hearty welcome to this mind blowing platform physics wala my name is nupur sharma and today we are going to do determiners now determiners is a topic that we have been doing since grade 5 you know but we still tend to make mistakes in it today we are going to do this topic again so that we do not make any mistakes we look upon the areas we work upon the areas where we can make the mistakes so now let's move forward so we are going to learn what are determiners then we are going to see types of determiners and what do the determiners do what is their actual function so let's move forward now a determiner is a word that is used to modify or introduce a noun in a sentence now you all know what are nouns okay there are common nouns there are proper nouns now when we have to know something about the nouns then we use the determiners it mostly acts like an adjective in that it refers to the noun determiners includes articles adjectives of quantity demonstrative adjectives possessive adjectives and so on you know determiner is a kind of adjective because the adjectives also tell us about the noun now the determiners they also tell us something about the noun okay now let's learn it through examples here if we look at uh, this example many dogs were barking now dog here dogs are noun okay dogs is a noun now what do we know about nouns many dogs were barking here many is a determiner it is telling us the quantity of dogs how many dogs were barking now in the next example there were only a few students left in the class okay there were only a few students in the class now students here is a noun what is this word what is a few telling about the students it is again telling us the quantity of the noun the sun rises in the east sun sun here is a noun what is the telling about it is actually defining the noun here the determiner is the i have a lot of friends in the us now friends friends again is a noun a lot of a lot of is telling us the quantity of nouns so here in these examples we could see that these words many a few the a lot of all of these words were telling us something about the nouns in one of the cases in three of the cases they were telling us the quantity of the noun in one of the case they were actually determining the noun they were telling it they, they were telling us whether it is a definite a noun or it is an indefinite okay so we'll uh, learn further about it and let's learn that what do the determiners basically do what are its functions now the determine the determiners actually refer and they quantify what is referring referring means showing us who or what the noun is pointing to or talking about the most common types of determiners which we use for referring are articles possessives and demonstratives now they are determining they are referring they are referring to the nouns like articles and possessives and demonstratives they are referring that this is there this is there and they refer to the nouns and quantifying what does quantifying means quantifying means showing how much or how many the things are it is uh, telling us the quantity of the noun so there are two types of functions one is referring and the other one is quantifying so we'll learn more about it let's learn the types of determiners articles 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 also come under the determiners then comes the possessives my your his her its are their whose now possessives we all know possessives we all know but sometimes the possessives are also you know confusing they can get confusing today we are going to work upon the areas where we get confused in a and the too even if we talk about articles there are a lot of areas where we do not know whether to put a whether to put an or whether to put the now demonstratives demonstratives are this that these those these are you know uh, helping us to refer to the nouns 
you know, to point out are the nouns. They are the ones. Numerals and ordinals. Numerals and ordinals. Numerals means, you know, basically the cardinals. Cardinals and ordinals. Numerals, we can also call them cardinals. Now, what are cardinals and ordinals? We have learned it, you know, in grade 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, first, second, third, fourth. Now, they are, these are basically telling us the numbers or the order of the noun. Now, quantifiers. What are quantifiers? A few, another, several, much, many, a lot of, any, some, very. You know, quantifiers can be a lot and they can be a lot confusing that where to put which quantifier. So, today we are going to learn all of these. Now, let's start with articles. What are articles? Articles are a and and the. What is a definite article and what is indefinite articles? Articles can be classified into two parts, definite and indefinite. Now, definite is the. When we use the, the is a definite article, whereas a and an are indefinite articles. When we are talking about a particular noun, okay? When we are talking about a particular noun, when we are talking about a specific noun, then we use the. Whereas, if we are talking about any noun, you know, we are not talking about a specific thing, then we can put a and an. Now, let's learn it through an example. Here we can say, first, let's learn this thing. This is a pen. This is a pen. This is the pen that Roma gifted me. Now, let's learn the difference, you know, through the example. This is a pen. Here we are saying this is a pen. This is simply a pen. We are talking about a pen. But here we are saying, this is the pen that Roma gifted me. Here we are talking about a particular pen that Roma gifted me. Here we are talking about any pen. It could be any pen. Okay, it could be a XYZ. Any pen could be there. But here in this case, we are talking about a particular pen. That is why we used the here. And here, because we can talk about any pen, we used a here. Now, what if... We wrote, this is an apple. This is an apple. Here, we are talking about an apple. Any apple. But we have put an here. Now, why have we put an here and not a? The reason is simple. Because apple is starting with a. Apple is starting with a vowel sound. We know, you know, since our childhood, we know that, you know, wherever vowel sounds come, if the noun is starting with a vowel sound, then we have to put an before it. For example, a, uh, apple is starting with a. Uh. Please focus on the phonetics. A, E, I, O, U. When we are talking about the sound of a, E, I, O, U. We have to be very specific. Sound of vowel. Not the vowel itself. We are talking about the sound of vowel. That is A, E, I, O, U. We put an. Before apple, we put an. Now, again, if we talk, have to talk about a particular apple. This is the apple. This is the apple. That was... Rotten. Okay. Again, we can also say something else. This is the apple that had a mole in it. This is the apple that had a mole in it. Now, we put the here. The reason here is that we are talking about a particular apple. We are talking about a particular apple that had a mole in it. But here we are talking about any apple. It could be any apple. But here the difference is that we put an instead of a. Because apple was starting with a, e, i, o, u. 
Now, this is simple. We know where to put A, where to put AND. But you have to learn something more. Here, if we look at these examples, if you look at these examples very carefully, now, you have to tell me that whether we'll put A here or AND. Okay, A or AND. Now, let's start. Dash honest person. Now, now some people would say that honest is starting with H. It is starting with H. So, we have to put A before it. You know, this is what we have learned. This is what we have learned so far that before when a consonant, you know, when a no noun is starting with a consonant, then we put A before it. If the noun is starting with an article with, an, with a vowel, with a vowel, then we put an before it. Okay, this is what we have learned so far. But what is the difference between it? You know, these are a few exceptions, not exceptions basically, but there are a few roles that we have to see, you know, uh, before using these. Now, when we talk about honest person, now honest is starting with H and H is a consonant. Still, we are going to put and before it. Now, MLA. MLA is starting with M. M is a consonant, but still we'll put AND before it. Umbrella. Umbrella. Umbrella is obviously umbrella is starting with a vowel. Then we know that we have to put AND before it. Now, MA qualified. It is starting with a consonant. Still we'll put AND before it. R is starting with H. We'll put AND before it. Air is starting with H. Still we'll put and before it. Now, why did we do that? We did that because we have to see the sound of vowel. We do not have to just look that, okay, if it's a consonant, if it's starting with a consonant, then we'll put a uh, before it. No, 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 no. We have to look the sound. We have to see for the sound. Honest. Now, honest is starting with a. A. H is silent here. O and O is the sound of a vowel. That is why we put AND before it. Now, MLA. MLA was also starting with AM. You have to look at the phonetics. It is starting with M, L, A. Basically, the sound was M, L, A. Umbrella. Umbrella is starting with A. Obviously, U is a vowel, so it's very simple that we have to put AND before it. But we'll still listen the sound. Umbrella. Umbrella is starting with A. MA qualified is starting with A. M. MA qualified. Okay. R. R. H is silent. It is starting with DO. It is starting with the consonant. But the sound is starting with R. R. Air. Air is also, you know, if you talk about air, air is starting with consonant, but the sound is a, okay, which is a vowel sound. Now, if we look at these examples, now you, now let's underline the first word and try to listen to the sound. Unicorn, a unicorn, a mansion, a eucalyptus. A used battery, a one rupee note, a unit. Now, if you look at mansion, mansion is starting with a consonant and it is starting with ma, mansion, ma. So that is why we put a before it. Unicorn, though unicorn is starting with a vowel, with a vowel that is u. But where is the sound starting from? It is starting with y. It is starting with y. Unicorn. It is basically unicorn. Unicorn. It is starting with U. Eucalyptus. It is starting with eucalyptus. And Y. Y is the sound of a consonant. That is why we put A before it. Used battery. Used battery. U. U is starting with Y. That is why we put 
a before it similarly one rupee note is starting with v it is not starting with o it is starting with v the sound it is making is v unit again it is starting with y that is why we have to put a before it so what did we learn we learned that we do not have to just look for consonants and vowels you know since childhood we have been learning that a e i o u are vowels and the rest of them are consonants so we do not have to just look for them we have to look for their sounds the sounds of consonants and the sounds of vowels so that is what we have done here that is why you know we feel that these are a few exceptions where we have to look you know there are plenty whenever you have to use a and an you must know you must you know see for the sound okay you must listen the sound not see you have to listen the sound now let's talk about possessives okay let's talk about possessives what are possessives possessives <clears throat> my your his her its are their you know my i my you becomes yours he she she her it its we are they their i i when we talk about i this is my book this is my book this belongs to me okay here we are talking about me here we are talking about i your we are talking about the second person in the case of second person it is your is this your umbrella okay does it belong to you your you becomes your is this your umbrella possessive do you know what is possessive possessive is when someone possesses something it means that they own that thing okay so these are possessives now he his he lent me his jacket it was his jacket you know he is the owner of that jacket that is why his jacket i borrowed her car she was the owner of the car that is why we are saying her car i borrowed her car do you like my doll these are its clothes first of all we saw that do you like my doll now my here is the first person possessive that you know this is my doll do you like my doll these are its clothes whose clothes the doll's clothes now doll is an inanimate object that is why we use it with it its with it okay we we becomes our a lot of our friends came to our party a lot of our friends came to the party you know now whose friends are those you know our a lot of our friends their their houses lovely they becomes who are the actually owners of those uh, of that house they so their house now the possessives are also of two types possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns children are often confused people are often confused in both of these so let's learn it mine this book is mine this is my book now mine comes in the end mine comes in the end this is my book this book is mine in this case mine is a pronoun here my is an adjective here mine is a pronoun is this yours is this your umbrella is this umbrella yours he lent me his jacket this isn't my jacket it's his it's his now his remains his only but it comes in the end here when it comes in the end it becomes a pronoun hers the car is hers it belongs to her the car is hers here hers is a pronoun now when we talk about its we you know generally avoid using this kind of pronoun we do not use its as a pronoun that is why we didn't write its here ours that car is 
ours you know there becomes you know uh, sorry our becomes ours here there becomes theirs that house is theirs it belongs to them that house is theirs you know we did not take the name of the people we did not say that 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 house is of santosh and meena we said that that house is theirs here in this case we did not say the car is poonam's okay poonam is the owner of car we did not say that the car is poonam's we did not take the name of the girl we simply said the car is hers this is in my jacket it's his this is in my jacket this is my father's so instead of saying father i said his that is why these are pronouns this is how you have to learn okay the difference you must know between the possessive adjectives and the possessive pronouns okay now let's move further here we are talking about demonstratives 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 what do you mean by demonstrative demonstratives is a word you know you know that is derived from demonstration to demonstrate to basically refer okay to point out now this that these those this that these and those <clears throat> this that these those near to you when the thing is singular and it is near to you you use this now this you must be knowing this is very simple this cat the cat is sitting just next to the girl so that is why this cat she is pointing this cat you know the cat is singular and it is sitting near the girl this cat but in this case the bird is also singular but it is far from the girl it is actually far from the girl that is why she is saying that bird you know that bird she is pointing towards the bird and she is saying that bird i am talking about that bird now here in this case these cats these cats these cats are actually near to you there are a lot of cats the cats are in plural these cats are near to the girl that is why she is saying these cats you know these cats now here in this case the birds are far away from her the birds are far and the birds are in plural that is why she is saying those birds those now this becomes these you know this is the singular one and these is plural that is singular and those is plural this that these those okay very simple that we have all been learning you know from you know uh, very small classes but you know you must know these things okay now let's move further we'll talk about cardinals and ordinals cardinal or ordinals the examples were already written now what are cardinals cardinals are basically 1 2 3 4 now the cardinals are also used to tell the quantity okay they are used to tell basically the quantity when we count the things okay we use them for countable objects we use them for countable objects for example i need 10 pens okay she gave me you know 100 dollars okay these could be you know these can be counted it can be counted that is why we put it under the cardinals but here in this case we use them to order the things okay we tell the order first second third fourth now example this is my first class with you this is not my first class with you but just an example this is my first class with you we are using it to order 
the third girl next to her is very pretty okay the third girl next to her is very pretty now we are using it to basically order to put the things in an order but it tells us the order of the noun that is why this also comes under the category of determiners so you know the difference between cardinals and ordinals and you know how to use them okay now let's move further we'll talk about quantifiers now quantifiers is something where we get confused a lot where we have to put the quantifiers quantifiers basically come under two categories that are countable and un uncountable you know what are countable and uncountable countable are the things that you can count one two three four but uncountable are the things that you cannot count the things that you cannot count now let me ask you a few things can you count money can money be counted can you count money no we cannot count money money does not come under the category of countables it comes under the category of uncountable because when we talk about money money is considered to be something like wind air you know soil that we cannot count okay we'll talk about with this further countable and uncountable we'll talk about a few examples that we must know now money comes under uncountable okay money we cannot count because money actually it you know covers a lot of area money can be you know your wealth and you cannot count money dollars you can count but you can count notes you can count rupees and you can count the dollars similarly there are a lot of people who say that stars are uncountable no stars are countable you can count the stars it is impossible though because there are in so much quantity it is not possible to count the stars but we can we say that we can count stars because sometimes only two stars are visible in the sky so we say that there are you know i can see two stars there is one star which is shining very brightly okay now you will say ma'am the sand is also in a lot of quantity you know so we can count it too no sand is uncountable the grains of sand the grains of sand they are countable now sugar is uncountable but the grains of sugar they can be counted similarly the grains of wheat the things you know we can count the particles of sand can be counted but stars are definitely they definitely come under the category of countables you know you can count if there are only 10 stars in the sky you can just count them 1 2 3 like that and you can know the quantity we still say millions and millions of stars now million is also basically a number that is also a countable thing you know that comes under the you know a cardinal it's a cardinal number thousand millions so we say millions of stars so it means that we can count the stars but here money sand sugar these things cannot be counted water it also cannot be counted now since we know that what are countable and uncountable let's learn a little bit more about it now little when we talk about little little is a quantifier now little is something that we can only use with uncountable we say please give me little sugar please give me little sugar now since sugar cannot be counted we do not use it under the category of countable we cannot use little under the countable things we cannot put little with the things that we cannot that we can count now <clears throat> few few also means small it means a very small number means a very small number but we can only use it with countable i have few friends i have few friends you know they are small they are you know a very less quantity you know it's a very less quantity but we cannot use few with 
uncountable. We can only use it with countable. Now, a lot of. Lot of means a lot of quantity. A huge quantity. A lot of is something that we also use only with countable. We do not use it with uncountable. I have a lot of friends. I want to have a lot of sugar. We do not say. Okay? We say I want a lot of friends. Now, many, if we talk about many, many is, you know, many, that also comes under the count, you know, uh, countable things. We can only use many with the countable things. She has many faults in her. Okay? Many faults. Okay? Many faults. Faults can be counted. Many problems. Problems can be counted. Now, much, much is something that we only use with uncountable. Now, much sugar, much hope, basically, much hope is something familiar that we can say that there is not much hope left for her. There isn't much hope left for her. Any. Now, any is something that we can use both with countable and uncountable. Any. I do not have any friends. I do not have any sugar. Okay. Do you have any friends? Do you have any water? You want to have, you know, no, no, not water basically. Do you want to have any water? Do you want to have any tea? Any tea? Tea? Any can be used with tea as well. Any can be used with you know, the countable things as well. Now, similarly, lots of. Now, a lot of is used, used with countable, but lots of can be used with both countable and uncountable. Lots of. Lots of means, you know, huge quantity. You know, it means a lot of. It means a huge quantity. Lot of. Okay. Lots of. You know, uh, Santa Claus had lots of chocolate. Santa Claus has lot of chocolate, lots of chocolate. Now, Santa Claus has a uh, lots of, has lots of love for us. Santa Claus has lots of chocolate. Chocolates can be counted. That is why we put lots of with it. Okay, lots of can be put with it. Now, lots of love. Santa Claus has sent lots of love. Lots of love. Now, love is an uncountable thing and we can still use lots of with it. Some. Some is an unspecified amount. We do not know the number. When we do not know the number, some, you know, some is something that we can use with countable and uncountable, both of these. Okay. Now, we learn a specific things that we get confused in. You know, sometimes we do not know that which article, which determiner to put where. The basically these are the determiners that are often confused with now when we talk about a few and few a lot of children are confused where to put a few and where to put few now a few or few both of them are only used with the countable you know nouns we can only use with countable nouns now no a few is used with a positive quantity and few is used with a negative quantity. The only difference between them is that a few is used with a positive quantity and few is used with a negative quantity. Okay, when we can count the things. Now, what is a positive quantity and what is a negative quantity? Positive is when we are happy about the small thing. We are satisfied with the small amount of thing. You know what is few? Few means, you know, a small or a minor portion. When we are happy with the small or minor portion that we have, it is said to be the positive quantity. When we are not satisfied with the small quantity that we have, we use few. Examples are given. I have only a few friends and I'm happy. I have only a few friends and I'm happy. She is happy. You know, the person is happy with the number of friends he has. He has, you know, a few friends and he's content. He is happy with it. Here, he has got few friends in the city and he is sad. Now, in this case, he's saying that, you know, I only have few friends in the city. I have few friends. He's not happy about it. He is using it as a negative number. 
he is saying i have few friends and i am not happy i am sad i am sad the person is saying that he is sad so that is why definitely it is a negative quantity here there are a few books on the shelf the books are a few in number few a few is a positive quantity there are a few books on the shelf here he has few followers on instagram the person is not happy he is just saying i have a few followers i have few followers on the instagram he is not happy with the amount of followers on instagram but if we say i have a few followers on instagram you know i also have a few followers on instagram this is positive but if you say i have few followers on instagram he is not happy with the number of followers he has on instagram so this is the difference between a positive quantity and the negative quantity i want i went to her house for a few days he is happy with the number of days he was in her house that is why he is saying i went to her house for a few days this is a positive you know sentence this is not a negative sentence the quantity is not used as a negative quantity that is why we can find out the difference between a few and few here now let's talk about uncountables uncountable a little and little a little and little is not used with countable objects it is only used with uncountable objects but the difference here is positive quantity and negative quantity as we saw in the earlier case here there is a little tea left in the pot there is a little tea left in the pot you can have it okay she is saying it positively there is a little tea in the pot you can have it now i am sorry i speak little german i'm sorry i speak little german he is afraid that he can only speak little german he is not happy about it he is not satisfied about it it he is using it as a negative quantity that is why he did not put a little he is saying little if he would have said i know a little german you know i know a little german i can talk to you i can manage in germany i can speak a little you know german now here but in this case he is saying i know little german i know little german he is not basically happy about this thing he is apologizing to the other person that i do not know you know uh, how to talk in german properly i just know it little here would you like a little coffee would you like a little coffee this has been used as a positive quantity would you like a little coffee here in this case there was little time to finish the work here again it is being used as a negative quantity there was little time to finish the work little time there was little time to finish the work that is why i couldn't complete it okay so this has been used as a negative quantity so this is the difference between a little and little further many and much now as i told you that there is a huge difference between many and much because many is used with the countable things and much is used with uncountable things i have many chocolates i have many chocolates i have much to complain about her i have much to complain about her we could have used a better sentence with many she is she is having many problems with the society she has many problems with the society now these problems can be counted okay that is why we have used many with it but there is much to complain now complain complain and problems she has a lot of problems she has a lot of problems she has many problems many problems that she can talk about but here in this case i have much to complain about her i have much to complain now complain cannot be quantified that that is something that cannot be counted it can be quantified but it cannot be counted okay that is why we have used much with it 
okay now you have been you know learning about countables and uncountables you know since childhood you have been learning that you know milk cannot be counted milk is something that can be only you know that can be only measured it cannot be counted please give me you know i do not need much milk to prepare the cake i do not need much milk to prepare the cake i need many i need many um i need many spoons of sugar to prepare the cakes now sugar sugar is uncountable then why did i use you know many with it because i was using spoons many spoons of sugar many spoons of sugar i cannot count sugar but i can count the spoons certainly i can count the spoons that is why i can use many with it i need many spoons of sugar to prepare the cake okay now let's move further many and much okay now the two more quantifiers here we can see is several and any several several is used with the countable things i have several friends in the us i have several friends i have many friends several means it can be said you know it can be used in the place of many i have many friends in the us whereas if we talk about any i don't have any friends in the us any here means none it is used as none i don't have any friends in the us you know they do not have any friends none none of the friends of them live in us didn't you put any seasoning on the pasta now any is something that we can use with both countable and uncountable here we have used it with countable and here we have used it with the uncountable object and that is seasoning now seasoning is something that is that you cannot count didn't you put any seasoning on the pasta any seasoning didn't you put any seasoning it means there is no seasoning on the pasta and we have used it in the case of uncountable object so i hope the determiners are you know clear to you and if you have any doubts you can just let me know now we'll meet in the next video bye bye take care